Oh, what a tangled web I weave. It's worse than the wig that I'm wearing. What is it that I'm going to get into next? Oh, my lips are so dry. Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, so this video right here, the infamous Miss Brittany literally just stared at the sky and at the comments about 95% of this video. And when I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is complete trash. You know, what can I do with this? She's not talking. Oh, I'll just talk for her. That's what I said. So we're going to have a little fun during this video. But before we get into it, you know what to do. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Cut the notifications on and leave us a comment. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so, you know, I watched this, this video and... You know, I was like, wow, you know, Calgon, take me away, you know? I was like, wow, she looks so good, and, you know, she uh, is uh, looks relaxed, and, and uh, the, the salt water and all of that must be, you know, really relaxing. And then I just looked at her face, and then I said, you know what, looks can be deceiving you get what I'm saying and uh yeah that was the vibe that I took and or got from the video also I had to realize that she also uh didn't uh tell the truth that she was even going out of town and ruined his weekend you get you get what I'm saying so we can't congratulate her we have to what we have to scold her for doing that and let her know that you don't do that to your baby daddy I'm just saying let's see <sighs> what did I get myself into now I got these two babies coming, and my baby daddy, James, is nowhere to be around. He doesn't want to be around me at all. Darn, I just couldn't pull it off for six years like my first marriage. Oh, well, what we you go. can do next, Brittany, is put some clothes on. Oh, my gosh, the whole video, all you saw were the twins. And I'm not talking about the one in her belly. That's all you saw. Aren't y'all tired of that? I know I am. Yeah, so, you know, what brings a person to the point, or a woman, a baby mom, to basically, every to, to the point where every day you wake up, you're just trying to figure out what can you do to either get on their nerves, hurt them, or really just basically hinder their day? You have to be one miserable person. Okay, Brittany is miserable. And it's crazy because she is carrying babies. You think that would be a euphoric time. Pregnancy is not a happy time for everyone. In fact, if you already have issues outside of pregnancy, you know, with your emotions, with, you know, with your attitude, pregnancy is just going to basically make that even worse. So I can just imagine what James is going through right now. You get what I'm saying? He's keeping his space. You know, they're probably FaceTiming. He's probably, you know, just basically trying to go along and get along. You get what I'm saying? But the truth, the truth is getting the brunt of her anger. He is getting most of it. And they're not even together, they're divorced. But she is really holding a deep seed for him of hate. Okay, we'll get into it. Oh, I can't stand going live. Yeah, having to go and show my life to all these people that's just going to sit here and gawk. Oh, what is that? Uh, anyway, look at him. Just commenting. I'm not even... Paying them any mind. Oh, I need some water. Yes. Hey, y'all. I see ya. You know, back when she was married to the truth, you know, she was, you know, dancing and smiling and, and things like that. You know, it just looked great. It was top tier content, you know. And now it's like, you know, she's just miserable. She's, you know, blank as far as she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know how to entertain. That's why she just puts out her tie ties and thighs because that's all she knows how to serve up, you know. And she's like this in her real relationships. You know, outside of the bedroom, she gives nothing else to keep a man uh, satisfied or to keep him interested. I mean, what she gives, a man can give, you know, get that anywhere. I mean, you know, so it's not like this is just who she is on camera. This is who she is outside of camera. She doesn't give her children any kind of attention either. You know, she can't stand being a mother. She, she loves being pregnant because of the attention that it comes, you know, that comes with it. 
but she doesn't like the task behind it. She didn't like being married. Um, she liked the title. She liked, you know, the, the glitz and glam and, you know, the festivities that came with it. But she doesn't like to do the work. So, you know, Jezebel's spirit is kind of on the lazy side. You know, they want you to do all of the work. They want you to, to you know, go through everything and they just sit there and reap the rewards, you know. Hence, she said her parents gave her everything she wanted, but I don't think they gave anything that she needed. You get what I'm saying? Because it shows right here. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's James trying to get away. He'll never be able to get away. I have his twins. He has to stay. Mm, yeah, look at y'all. Oh, goodness, this thing is so itchy. Oh, my Lord. Oh, did I forget to shave? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, yeah, y'all. I'm just sitting here, just smelling the air, sitting on this sand, wishing I was home. Yeah, you know, I'm just here because I wanted to really aggravate my ex-husband. You know, I'm just so mad that he left. Yeah, he really did leave. You know how much strength it is to leave a Jezebel spirit? Do you know how much strength it takes? A lot. You know, what did LaTruth have to go through to say, you know what? Let me put my pants on and my shirt and my shoes, get in my car and file for a divorce. No one has ever thought about that or talked about that. But let's talk about that for a few. Yes. You have to understand his whole, you know, not whole, but basically a predominantly his, you know, uh, social media was about his marriage. That's probably when things started to pick up, double up, get more money. He had to basically put his money aside, his fame aside, his responsibilities aside to get up in the midst of having a struggle with his wellness and file for divorce. That says the type of woman Brittany is. You got a man who needed someone to be there, you know, to help nurse him back to health. Needed the company because he was healing from an issue. And he actually went and got a divorce in the midst of that. That's only God. That gave him the strength. That saved his sanity. That saved him. You get what I'm saying? So anybody who is with this lady has to understand that she's dangerous. Okay? And look at LaTruth. Look at him. You guys, I can't believe you guys are actually listening to me. You really do think I have it all together? Have you seen my track record? Uh, no, they're not seeing it. Just looking up my nose. Yeah. Look, look. Yeah. Nose is itching. Yes, you know, this hair right here is really bothering me. It really is. But I'm looking so cute, I'm not going to move it. Yeah, I want to sneeze so bad. So bad. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh my gosh, I'm hearing voices. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Obviously, this lady is just full of herself. Somebody told her that she was really cute. And she thinks that's all she needs to keep a man not to keep a man happy to keep a man she's just like a black widow spider you get what i'm saying they're just gonna clench it you know but you know what happens next okay they're gonna literally eat that thing alive and that's basically what this jezebel spirit does they don't care if you're happy of course not they want you miserable I don't want you happy. I don't want you satisfied. They don't want you worshiping God and, and living in his grace and mercy. No, they don't want that. You know, they just want to see you miserable. They want to hear take you, you know, to where they want you to go. They want to keep you captive. You have to be careful when you're with these people who think they're all this and all that. That's usually the first thing that we're attracted to are someone's looks. Oh, yeah, that's how we all get tangled up in that wig. I'm sorry, that weave, that web, you know, because you're just saying, oh, my gosh, they look so good. But what else do they have to offer? You know, you can get looks anywhere, but can you really get someone to love you and respect you anywhere? I think not. Wow, it's a lot of comments. 
I changed this wig because What's the Tea said that my new name would be Beverly. And I didn't want to be called that. I like Brittany. Oh, look over there. Yes. Oh, wow. That's my next victim. Hmm. Yeah. You guys are just typing and typing away. Half the stuff that I'm reading, I don't even understand. Where do people find the time to just watch me? Oh, goodness. Yo, no, I don't really care about those kids. They're over there in the hot tub. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here because I really wanted to hurt my ex-husband. Yes, I hope he's watching this now. Now, one thing that Latruth has to do is he has to stop acting so bothered. That is really puffing her up right now. That is really making her happy if there was a such thing. It's satisfying her to a T. Yeah, to know that her ex-husband has not just moved on with his older lady, Mrs. Vivica. And when I say older, I mean that in a very endearing way. Because it was on purpose that he chose her. He wanted to make sure that she could not get him for a baby. Okay? Let's just keep it 100. Miss Vivica... That's the number one thing. He knows that you're not, you know, in that arena anymore because he has been what? He has been traumatized. This is why you don't get into relationships right quick, right quick with someone who is fresh out of a long-term relationship, whether it was a marriage or just a long-term shack up. You get what I'm saying? You don't just rush into relationships like that, James and Miss Vivica. Now you are literally tangled up in this weave called the Latruth Brittany saga. Yeah, they're still playing around with each other's emotions right on the social media, right in front of you guys. Now, James don't really care, but Miss Vivica, she's one of us. She is a woman, and she is so into Latruth. Every time they make a video recording, she is smiling from ear to ear. Oh my gosh, I'm literally looking to the side and it's nothing to look at, but I'm going to make 10 that I'm looking so I can look cute. So I don't have to look straight into the camera because I really don't want to. And I really need some lashes because my eyes are looking a little off. Just a tad. Yes. But these baby hairs are sticking me. Oh my goodness. I don't even know why I have this wig on. It's itching me. I'm going to have to deal with this after this video. I know I am. Hmm. But I have plenty of filters to hide it. Oh my goodness. I forgot to shave. I'm itching again. Why did that girl put this wig on my head? Is she really my friend? Oh my gosh. Remember, Jezebel spirits really do not have friends. Okay, they have people that they can what? Control. And even when someone leaves their clutches, okay, the aftermath is so traumatic and they're so traumatized that they will take that wherever they go. So basically, when you deal with a Jezebel spirit, you will not be able to move on in a healthy relationship with yourself or with others until you get together with God and ask him to deliver you from that Jezebel spirit. You know, I had somebody tell me, oh, that person that was a Jezebel spirit cannot hurt you. They're not in your home. That's just all over the phone. 98% of all of our dealings with this Jezebel spirit, my husband and I, was over the phone. And yes, it did a lot of damage. Yes, it did. You know, because we were not aware that it was a Jezebel spirit. Nine times out of ten, you don't know that this is what spiritual warfare. You're just thinking that, you know, you're having an issue with Constance. You know, you're having an issue with Barry. You're not understanding that your, your spirit and their spirit are clashing and that they have a purpose to ruin whatever you have going on that is godly. You don't understand that until sometimes it is too late. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to keep staring and staring to really aggravate everyone. 
Peace to everyone. Yes, peace. Yeah, peace, peace, whatever, whatever, whatever. Hey, y'all. Y'all just watching me. Yes, I'm just racking up these views, racking up these comments. You guys are helping me to take care of myself because I don't have enough empathy to help others or even help my children. They're just going to wear the same clothes that they've been wearing. You know what I mean? I'm not going to get their hair done. I'm not going to get them some better clothes. No, I'm not going to get them any education. Yeah. Yeah, this money is just literally just gonna stay in my pocket. Mm hmm. Y'all still looking, ain't you? Mm. Thank you. Oh, God, I'm so tired. Oh, my goodness. This evilness that's in me is just making me so tired. It's not the babies. Oh, no, it's the evilness. You know, I had this problem before I even had these babies, any of my children, you know, before I even met my baby daddies. Oh, no, I've always been like this. You know, I usually blame everyone. But at the end of the day, when I look at myself, I know it's all me. That's why I can't look at myself. You get what I'm saying? I put, oh my goodness, look at I'm scratching. It's just, yeah, I can even start, you know, smelling myself right now because I'm just sitting here on this sand. Yes! In the heat and all of this wind. Yeah, y'all think I'm fine, but I'm really not. You know, I'm just cooking up something else. Yes, I'm cooking up something else that I'm going to do to one of my baby daddies. Which one will it be? Will it be James or will it be Robert? You know, this week it'll be Robert. Next week it'll be James. You know, I wonder what he's doing right now. Hmm, he's probably off with that dog and his mama. But one day he's going to have to come home. And these babies are born. He has to come back. I'm going to make sure of it. You know Jezebel Spears can't stand a man with a mama. See, her first husband didn't have a mother or a older woman to basically put wisdom into him or anything like that. And his second, her second uh, baby daddy, or I should say third or fourth, we don't know the number, um, you know, he has his mom. And his mom is there, and she's trying to keep her son safe. But what we have to do is we have to teach our children how to be what? Self-reliant. They have to know how to... To self soothe, and they have to know about the word because us parents, we're just not going to be around forever. We're not going to have our minds all the time to basically, you know, teach our children the way they should go. You know, everyone gets older and things happen. It's called the what? The circle of life. So we need to teach our children how to rely on God. In the word, it says, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Now, everyone is not cut out to be a wife. A Jezebel spirit is one of them. You get what I'm saying? And if you're just looking at someone and, and dating someone who literally just puts their body on display, their face and everything and their beauty is all they feel that they have to offer, you may want to look the other way. You know, don't pass go, don't collect $200, and especially do not get into their dungeon slash bedroom because that's where they're going to really ultimately control you. And that goes both ways because the Jezebel spirit comes in a woman and into a man as well. You know, so this is not just about women, even though it's named after Jezebel. Oh, they're still typing. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, you know what? Let me just... um act like I'm going to be a mother. Oh my goodness, one of my children are coming over. Oh my goodness, Caroline, please. Hey, Caroline, what's going on? Um, mommy's on camera. Um, Just go back over there to that stranger that you were around. You know, I say it's making friends, but uh, you don't know them. There is no friends. Uh, just go back over there. Yeah, yeah. Let me look back at these stern comments real quick. Yeah, did she really ask me where James is? Well, this James is not here. Okay, he's not here. He's somewhere in Kansas with his dog and his mom. Okay, please stop asking about him. Okay, now, Caroline, uh, please, okay, I'm over here. Please go away. I'm, I'm not trying to be mom right now. I have to be on this. What are you doing? Did you just pick up a crab? Caroline, please, put that down. Oh, my goodness, I have to be a mother real quick. I have to learn how to multitask. And I'm having two more babies. I need to, oh, uh, what are you guys saying? You know, she looks so bothered when those kids come over. You know, it's like she doesn't know how to be a mom and a content provider at the same time. And one thing that us women know how to do is we know how to what? We know how to multitask. But it seems like Brittany doesn't do that well. She can't be a wife or a baby mother or, you know, she can't be a mom and... Um, 
content provider all at the same time. She can't keep her audience satisfied. She can't keep her man satisfied. And of course, she cannot keep the children satisfied. Okay, the only person it seems like she's trying to satisfy is herself. And she's not even able to do that. You know, she changed her wig twice. She doesn't like her image. She has to wear filters. Everyone's lying to her saying, oh my gosh, you look so good. You look so glowy. You look so this. She looks so angry. You get what I'm saying? Who wants to look at that? She needs to read some books. She needs to do what I'm doing, trying to freaking be creative. But when you are stressed out and you're doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff to other people, you're not able to be creative. God is not going to give you that creative bug. If you're out here making issues for others, you know, you got to clean it up. Got to clean up your own house. You have to ask God for you uh, to... Um, you know, let go stuff and ask him to help you to let go stuff. Let go of that marriage. Let go. You messed it up, doll, and there's nothing you can do about that. You get what I'm saying? You messed it up. It is what it is. He's moved on with Miss Vivica to bigger and better and more mature things. Hopefully, we hope that's happening. Oh, are they asking me to see these twins again? Oh my goodness, see my belly? I already freaking showed it. Oh my goodness, I get on my nerves. Here again, I'm having two more babies. This is going to be all about them and they're going to ignore me. Oh my goodness, here's my son. All right, Jonathan, please come here. <laughs>